Greetings. Welcome to Australia. It's great to see you here. Have you played the course yet? Uh, I, I'm happy to be here as well. I played, I played the back nine today. Um, I've, I've only played one, of, one other time in Australia, and I'm, I'm really happy to be back and having a great time in Sydney, and it's been a great trip so far. Did you bring any of your family with you? I didn't. Um, I have a very young boy at home, and we, we will long for him, but um, a couple of my buddies are from the States are playing this week, so we're getting a good hang in here. Do you, will you go home at the end of the week or have you tacked on a couple of days to look around some more? <clears throat> I'm, I'm leaving Monday and we plan on using our whole time here in, in Australia and Sydney to experience the, the, the country and the city and uh, so far everyone's treated us so great and we're having a, a really great time. Terrific. Questions please ladies and gentlemen. Keegan, um, can you tell us about that other time you played in Australia and what your experience was? Yeah, I played, it was on the, the web.com. I played at Moona Lynx, uh, but it was well outside of, I think it was Melbourne, and uh, we didn't get to really experience Australia. We were kind of way out in the woods somewhere, and uh, it's always really fun for us players when we're playing in big cities and we can stay in the city and experience it. Uh, so staying downtown Sydney and experiencing Australia, it's been a, it's been a great trip so far. What brought you to, to Sydney this time? Well, I, uh, I've always wanted to come down and play some of these tournaments. I, I've, I've grown up watching them at home, um, and it's, it's, always, it's always big for an American player, I feel like, to play a little more globally. It's easy for us to just stick to the PGA Tour. And, uh, you know, I've always wanted to come back down here, and sometimes the schedule doesn't permit that. But this year I had a little opening uh, at the end of the year, and I really wanted to make it happen. Obviously, um, you had a win not long ago. What have you made of the course and, and your chances, uh, considering your form at the moment? So I played the back nine today. Uh, very windy, as, as we expected. Um, I'm playing, playing pretty good golf right now. It, it, as long as I, I go out there and, and putt the way I've been putting, I, I should, I'm playing well enough to, to contend, but uh, it's a long trip. So the biggest thing for these next couple of days is trying to get some rest and getting on the time change and... Uh, I commend all these worldwide players that do this every week because it's, it's tough. Next question. You know, Keegan, in Australia, we've seen you win some of the biggest tournaments, a major tournament. Where is your game at compared to that level that we've seen you at the highest of the highs in the game? I think right now it's the best I've ever, I've ever been. I think uh, a much more well-rounded player. I had to tackle the putting issue, which was a lot harder than I expected. And if I keep improving with my the way I'm putting and my technique there, well, as a whole, I think my game is a lot better. It's a lot sharper. Um, but I, it's taken a lot of work with the putter, and i got to keep keep going on that. Mark? Keegan, you said you, you watched the tournaments down here on your television at home. What's your memories of the Australian Open? Did, you, did something pique your interest? Was it a player or a shot or a... A mate who did something? Well, I just remember as a kid, kind of the, the tour had winded down and you were kind of jonesing to watch some golf. This is before the FedEx Cup. And I always remember on the golf channel watching these tournaments. And as a kid being excited, you know, they were on uh, different times. Let's see, they'd be on at night maybe there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'd come home maybe after school or something and be able to watch golf. That's always super fun. Um, and Australia has, has a, is, has, plays a big part in the, in the world in golf. There's a lot of great players that come from here and try I'm trying more to play a little more outside the country and you know getting a win outside of the US would, would mean a lot on a on a resume. Um, we've all admired you as a team player on the US teams that you've represented. Did it cut you to watch what happened in Paris and what's your thoughts on <coughs> that and President's Cup next year? Yeah, I I watched almost every shot of the Ryder Cup. I I've never really sat down and completely watched a tournament like that. I had I just had finished playing. I had some off week, and I enjoyed watching it. And I don't see much of what the U.S. did wrong other than the Europeans played so great the whole time. I, I don't know if I've ever seen better play than those guys did. Um, as for the President's Cup, uh, this um, now is a realistic goal for me to try to make the team in years the last couple of years, I've wanted to make the team, but it probably wasn't as realistic as it could be this year. 
did it get really your, your juices flowing watching that? Thinking, geez, I wish I was there. It does. It it uh, it's tough to watch from the outside when you've been there, not only because of the competition, but just the fun you have with the guys. In the you're so alone out here going against everybody, and then for that one week, you're able to you see a lot of guys let their guards down, and you get, you, you learn a lot about the other players, and you really make lifelong friendships. Can I ask one? Yes. Not unlike um, Brant, who was in here a few minutes ago, you know, you reached a really high peak and it came down. It looks like it's trending in the right direction. Why is that? Well, I, especially in golf, your careers, Ernie Els told me this one time, that your career goes in waves and it's about managing the waves. And uh, I had this, the, the putter change took me by surprise with how difficult it was. And I wasn't quite ready for it. And I've had to put a lot of work in to get back to this level. And I have to continue to do that for the rest of my career, which I'm happy to do. But I, it took a lot of work to get here. And now I feel like I'm at a level where I can just kind of maintain. I'm not looking to make changes or do much other than maintain and, and improving my putting. Keegan, I just wanted to ask you in relation to your putting, what, what, what do you do now that you can't use the, the longer putter? What, what, I, what style do you use? I use an arm lock style putter. Uh, I kind of went back and forth with it for a couple of years and then I stuck to it. I, I, I chose my own method of how to do it and uh, it's really it's really helped me. Is it like Cooch's? It's more like a Webb Simpson putt. So Cooch, Cooch has got a much uh, bigger shaft lean and I tried that initially and it didn't quite work for me. So I, you kind of have to, with the arm putter especially, you have to really modify it to yourself. Can't, I tried it first to just copy Cooch, and then now I've, I've kind of tried to take little bits and pieces from all the guys. And I wanted to ask you if you had any of the Australian players on tour, are you tight with any of those guys? Are you friendly with some of those guys? I yeah. noticed you've got Jared Lyles yeah. pin on your hat. Well, I, I didn't know Jared really well. I knew him just from playing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's an honour to wear the, the pin, and he means a lot to us players, and especially uh, PGA Tour players and Australians and everybody. And um, I played with Jason Day on Sunday at China, and I was just discussing, and he was telling me how great Sydney is. And pretty much everybody I've spoken to says Sydney's one of their favorite. Uh, Sydney's one of their favorite cities. So uh, it's been it's been a it's been on the, my bucket list to come down here and check it out. So it's been great. Keegan, you mentioned uh, the time zone difference, adjusting, uh, so that you can perform to your optimum. Do you got any tricks or rules that you have? I've got to have seven hours sleep. I've, I sleep with an eye mask on or anything like that. Well, my, my rule that I've kind of come up with over the last year or so, which has helped, is I don't put much stock into anything that goes on today or tomorrow in terms of my golf. And I don't practice a bunch. I'm just here to be awake and not go to sleep and over the years I've kind of maybe been too worried about how I feel today or how my game is and now I'm just kind of these are just days to get me ready to play on Thursday and it's made a big difference in, in my uh, my finishes. Just a cheeky question I don't mean anything by this when people say analyze your little quirky you know your club flips or you're standing behind the ball or anything does it bother you does it bug you? No, it doesn't. I there was a, there's a guy recently that did some Instagram videos that I loved. I uh, it's very unique. It's uh, it's different. It's uh, but I it sets me apart. But I I really loved that guy's uh, videos. It was seemed to everybody was messaging me about it and showing me. So it was great. I was going to ask about that. That's that's okay with you. You've got no problems with that. Yeah. No, it was great. I I couldn't believe it. My wife was <laughs> laughing so hard at it. She loved it. On that note, is everybody finished? Questions finished? One more at the back, please. Tony. Thanks, Keegan. You played a couple of holes with one of the boys from the All Abilities Championship today, Adam Wabby from Belgium. Um, do you have any thoughts on what this means to have an All Abilities Championship inside of this, this great tournament? Yeah, I played, played a few holes with Adam today, <clears throat> and it's just so impressive what these, what these guys are doing. I saw some guys hitting balls in the range on the way here, and it's remarkable. I mean, they're, 
the, what this tournament has done is is pretty pretty remarkable just because they're going to be out here with the pros and some of the best players in the world and they're going to be able to feel what it's like to be in a big time tournament a national open and the tournament uh, should be very proud of, of what they've done for that thank you thank you so thank much you. for coming in we'll see you in the week thank right. you thanks